been calling this gathering many different things for years it was about law of attraction Jerry said 25 years ago to us Abraham are there laws like the law of gravity that govern this universe and we said there is one law really worth understanding and that is law of attraction and that law says that which is likened to itself is drawn and then later as we began talking about law of attraction and how you get what you think about whether you want it or not we watched so many of our physical friends struggling with the idea of it because they could not seem to control their thoughts their thoughts were well embedded within them and we would see so many of you offering a thought or a statement and then you go cancel cancel try to suck it back before law of attraction got hold of it and we realized that in a sense as we were calling this the science of deliberate creation that you were putting so much pressure on yourself to be the deliberate creator we wanted to explain to you that you cannot help but be the creator of your own experience we wanted to explain to you that there are three steps to the process and two of them you don't even have to think about step one is ask and life just insists that you ask all day every day you knew that when you came forth you knew that your life would cause you to ask and you knew that when you ask that the source within you would answer not only answer the source within you would literally be the vibrational equivalent of everything that you're asking for every amended detail that your day-to-day -day experience causes you to ask for the source within you becomes and then step three is where all of your attention must be you must find a way somehow some way to bring yourself into vibrational frequency of that which you're asking for in other words when you're asking for more money you must not continue to tell the story I don't have enough money you cannot continue to point out the absence of something you want without holding yourself in resistance to something that you want you cannot continue to tell the story of what is if you want something to change because as you tell the story you activate the vibration within you but it isn't just that you don't get the money you want or the lover you want when you beat the drum of the absence of it it's not only about that we know for most of you that's what it's about just give me the money and the lover and then I'll be good But it's far more than just not obtaining the things or experiences that you want it's that when you beat the drum of the absence of something that you have become you tear yourself apart you don't feel good and the result is you feel the negative emotion that is the indicator of that you see so it is our desire that you understand that the art of allowing is the process that you want to learn law of attraction is at the basis of all things and the art of allowing is the way you apply your understanding of the gap between who you are in this body and who you really are it's the way you manage your vibrational gap and so maybe the new workshop rather than law of attraction which it was called for years or the science of deliberate creation which it was called for a few more years or the art of allowing that it has been called recently perhaps the best thing to call this workshop is the art of understanding and managing my gap or living life in the crack <laughs> or I'm an eternally expanded being a few years ago as Esther received from us the wonderful book ask and it is given we said here is the title I am source energy and from my source energy perspective I make a decision to come forth into the physical form and a small part of that which is me expresses itself into the physical environment where the contrast and the socialization that surrounds me inspire me in my human form to a new and expanded version of every idea that I consider and as those ideas emanate from me in the form of preferences or desires or prayers or requests the non-physical 
energy surrounds those and becomes the vibrational equivalent of that and law of attraction responds to that vibrational equivalent with such forcefulness that a stream of energy pulls forward toward it toward the expanded version of me and creates a sort of vortex that if I let go of resistance and doubt if I let go of unworthiness and unfairness and injustice if I focus upon the brightest spots that I can find in my physical time space reality or beyond I will let loose of resistance and the stream will carry me to the exalted expression of who I truly am publisher said it was much too long <laughs> so he gave it the title ask and it is given which says exactly the same thing when you ask that which you ask for becomes the question is are you letting yourself be the receiver of the fullness of it here and now we want you to receive all of the manifestations that you're asking for we want that for you you are physical beings you are spiritual beings who live in an environment where that which is spirit materializes and so it is right that you would be surrounded by these things that matter to you but it is our desire that as you leave this gathering today that you have a newfound resolve within you that goes like this nothing is more important than that I feel good today wherever I'm going no matter what I'm doing no matter who I'm doing it with no matter where I am it is my dominant intent to look for that which I'm wanting to see because when you start training yourself to the best that you can find from where you are you gradually little by little find something better and 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 before you know it you become the vibrational equivalent to the source within you and when you become the vibrational equivalent to the source within you you begin to see the world through the eyes of source you begin to hear the world through the eyes of source and smell the world through the nose of source and taste the world you begin to experience life in the way that you intended and friends we got to say to you now that you know what you know and we know that you know it because we know everything that you know and we have imparted to you what we know and we felt you know it too now you know what you know you can never go back <laughs> you cannot be less than you have become and be happy and so we mean this in the most free way you have no choice if you are wanting to feel good than to be that which life has caused you to become we are so eager to chew with you on the nitty-gritty of your experience what do you want to talk about begin right here yes if you want it it can happen when you get out of the way